how how do you get the name D Valley? Okay, D Valley. Um, um, hold on, I'm gonna ask you that question. Hold on. A broken line. Now nah, I can't relate. He asking about my next show. Gotta fly out of state. We talk about it, linking in the phone, finna ring again. Said I was short once. Now I'm finna rank it in, sell it. Right, right, right. But, um, okay, you was asking about my name. How I got my name? Man, my real name Demario, and um, my real name Demario, and um, uh, I'm from the Valley, Valley Hood, Paru, in the CD from the Central District. I'm from the C from the Central District, and um, man, we was. And my name Demario. They've been calling me Demario. My mom and them been calling me Demario my whole life. So when I started running the streets, when I hopped off the porch, um, um, they just came up with a nickname for me. I'm from the Valley, my name Demario, so they just pieced it together, D Valley. And that's how it came about. And they've been calling me that, and then they be shortening it up. They just call me Valley now, or DV. My closest partners, they call me DV. And uh, everybody else call me Valley, or they call me D Valley. That's how I know if you really know me or not. Like, you know, the cats like, <laughs> Cats that don't really know me, they'll call me D Valley. You know what I'm saying? But cats that know me, they'll be like Valley. They'll just call me Straight Valley. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know if you've been around me or not. You know what I'm saying? I, I can tell. Team hustled up. Little Shorty never taught me that. Running through these packs. One week blowing this rap. Meet me in this area. Can reach me on the phone device. Talking about it, he's a tool. I'll pull up on your ass tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, second line ENT. How did it start? Oh, man. And how do you pick the name? Oh man, okay. Um, shit, um, man, that's a serious question. Um, shit, Second Life ENT happened. It all started, man, back when I was uh, 16. It got a real, real, real deep meaning to it, man. Real deep, man. Um, shit, when I was 16, my partner. Me and my partner, Lil Quincy, right hand guy, right hand man. Uh, we out on Halloween and shit, you know, uh, we kicking it or whatever, man. And then um, we was just wrong place at the wrong time. And we ended up uh, getting shot, you know what I'm saying? My little partner, Quincy, passed away. He passed away from it on everything. Swear to God, no lie, he passed away. And, um, and me, I ended up getting shot, and um, but I survived though, you know what I'm saying, me. Where, where, where did you get shot at? Man, I got shot in my wrist, I got shot in my stomach, and um, man, and I ended up surviving this shit though, you feel me? I ended up surviving, and um, and that's how the whole Second Life ENT came about. Cause I wanted to represent my guy Quincy in a special way, and I wanted to also let it be known that I'm still here rocking. So um, it kind of like, man, I had wrote it down. I'm 23 right now. I'm 23 right now. I had I had a drawing of Second Life ENT. I had that shit in my uh, wallet since I was about like 15. I was no 16 after after this after this shit happened. So I was 16, going on, going on 17. I had the drawing of how I wanted the logo to be in my wallet ever since then. So that's about, what, six years? So uh, I've been rocking with the Second Life ENT thing, man, for about like six years now. And, you know, it just actually just really just started to blossom when I started shooting the visuals for it. And cats started seeing the visuals. That's when they started to understand what it was and started to see what it was. But I've been rocking with it off since like 2008. Damn quarter pound check, bundle on me check. Looking for a nice piece that I can slide around my neck. We blew the weed, she getting dick down. Play that hotels and traps, that's a shit now. When did you start rapping? Um, man, I started rapping. Man, man, like 14, bro. I've been rapping since I was like 14, bro. And um, it, it wasn't never on no 
serious, serious, serious shit back then. I was rapping because I like to do it, you know. I was just rapping because I, I really like to do it. Like, you know, I used to listen to music all the time, and that's what inspired me to rap. Other listening to everybody else rap, and I just knew in my head that I can do it. I'm like, man, I might as well just do it. Like I always been, I always been the person to challenge myself since I was young. So back when I was 14, I'm like, man, let me rap. Who were who were some of your musical influences? Um, when I was growing up, um, we listened to a lot of Gucci Man. We listened to uh, Mac Dre. Um, you know, just anything I can get my ears on. I was in middle school, so it was just like anything I can get my ears on. Right, right. I was just going with the flow. You know, down south, west coast music. A lot of that shit all tied in together. You work in the studio with the Jack and Freeway for your song, If You Want It. Yeah. How did that come about? And what was some advice that Jack gave you while in that studio session? Because you have it on video. Yeah. Okay. Um, man, how it came about was crazy, bro. Uh, Man, I'm a visionary, man. I like to vision shit. I like to vision stuff. So what had happened was, I had uh, I had found out that him and Jack on Freeway was coming into town to do the show at the Crocodile. And then I'm in the studio with D-Pro finishing up the album. And then we like, and I'm telling D-Pro, I'm like, nigga, it'd be crazy if I got Jack on Freeway in the studio, nigga, on one song together. I'm like, ain't nobody ever did that. You know, I'm like, nobody from Seattle got Freeway and Jack on the same song, you know, and, um, and, and, and I had just remembered that their album had just came out, their joint album, they came out a joint album, and so, um, I'm talking to Deep Pro, I'm like, man, it'd be crazy if I got both of them guys in here, and then, um, I visioned it, and then the very next day was the show, um, uh, I ended up, we ended up performing, we performed at the same show, we performed before, right before they performed, and then right after that, um, we all in the back room, we all in the back area, um, smoking and hanging out. And I'm like, yo, and I just hollered at Jack and I told him, I'm like, uh, I need both of you guys on the song right now. I got the studio, it's open, let's go do it. Jack I said, yup. I said, okay, let's go. And then we ended up shooting 13 coins right before we hit the studio. We all sitting down eating. Um, Right after everybody get done eating, we all get up, we all out in front of 13 points. And I'm like, I got the booth down, I got the booth down the street. And that's when I hollered at Freeway, because I, I didn't know Freeway knew about it yet. I just talked to Jacka. And then when we outside of 13 coins, I tell Freeway, I'm like, I got the booth down the street. I need you guys both on a song. Boom, we locks it in, we shoot down the street. And um, man, it was just a blessing. We, we in the studio, and I tell D-Pro, I didn't even have a beat or nothing. I have no beat. No nothing. I just knew I wanted them guys both on a song. We get, we both get, we all get in the studio, and then it's crazy. The very first beat D Pro plays, we picked it. I said that's the one right there. The very first beat he played, I said I listened to it for a little second. I said, yup, that's the one. And then we just man started vibing out, woo woo. woo. And then uh, Freeway, Freeway freestyles. Freeway let a freestyle, so free, Freeway walking back and forth through the studio freestyling. I'm just like, um, I'm listening to it, listening to it, listening to it, listening to it. And um, I'm trying to come up with the concept. You know what I'm saying? I see Freeway getting it in. Um, I'm, I'm trying to come up with the concept because I knew I had to come hard. I, I had Freeway and Jack in the booth. I'm like, I got to come hard on this track. So I'm, just, I'm vibing out. I actually scrapped my verse like three times, threw it away. It wasn't hard enough. I wrote it down once. I kept reading. I'm like, nah, I gotta come harder. Scratch that one. Writes it another time. I'm like, nah, I scrapped that one. And I finally, and I finally wrote that verse. I was like, yeah, this is that verse. And um, me and Jack, uh, me and Jack, uh, 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 chopping it up right after he get done laying his verse. And um. He just basically telling me, man, he like, he like, yo, he like, man, I like this track right here. 
He like, we gonna shoot the video. He like, we gonna get you right. This is what Jack is telling me. He like, we gonna get you right, man. We gonna shoot the video. Woo woo. He like, man, that's what I'm here for. He like, that's what I'm here for. I fuck with my young niggas. He like, that's what I'm here for. I'ma help you out. Woo woo. So we piecing it together, man. It was just strong love. I felt the genuine love. Jack is showing true love. You know what I'm saying? Um, the studio section, the studio session, it, it actually took like, I don't know how many, like, I want to say two days to record. The very first day, um, right after the studio, right after the concert, um, Freeway lays his verse, but he had to hop on a flight out of there. And so uh, when he left, Jack left, I ended up calling the Jack a back. And he came the very next night to lay his verse. And that's when I laid my verse too. Man, it was just genuine love, genuine love, man. I felt the love from Jacka. He was trying, he was trying to really put me on. He like, man, he gave me the verse. And he like, we gonna shoot the video and woo dee woo woo. So man, it was it was gonna go down, man. It, it already went down. You know what I'm saying? But Jacka had passed away. And we didn't able, we wasn't able to shoot the vision. Right, right. Come on, you ready? Shit's legal, the price on it cheaper, got a zone from run away, money root of all evil, mad cause the price went up, slide cause I'm licensed up, now I hit the road with a broadest online for us, now I carry on, half a weed in my carry on, sipping out of styrofoam, fire by the way it's grown, now it ain't a cook sack, I'm juggling with a crook sack, and how to run a play, it dumb fuck it shouldn't have looked back. Gotta hit the booth and lay a verse in my Nike shoes. Talk about a life to lose. Solid, I'ma keep it truth. Yeah, and they daddy's niggas spending cash. I'm spending time with the guap. You can lose it fast. Now I save it. Dime to the pavement. I be reaching for the top like I don't know where my legs went. Uh-huh. And you can catch me bending back blocks. By the end of the week, I'm having fat knots. Valley. Hello? Hello? What's up, bro, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I, I got you, game, on everything. I got you, bro, bro. It's all good, bro. It's all good on everything. I'm right here. I'm, I'm handling yeah. this little interview with my boy. I'm in front of the camera right now. Right now. Yeah, call me, bro. Call me back. Either tonight or tomorrow. I got you, bro, on everything. It's all good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the interview with my guy right now. He, he, he got me in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? He just asked me about this shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you already know. I got you. I, I got you. I got you. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro, call me. Yeah. Okay, uh, that was my guy, man. They locked up. He locked up right now. They all call me and shit. Man. But um. Oh, is it? He's downtown. Nah, he uh, nah, he ain't downtown. He uh, he actually at Walla Walla right now. Oh, he's calling me on the walls right now. Yeah, he's behind the wall, my nigga, man. Yeah, he's been on it, man. So he he called me every day, making sure I just hit him with some little money on the books and shit. <laughs> No, that's my dude. I look out for him. Uh, is, he get, is, he, is he getting out ever? Yeah, he can out. He can out. Um, damn, one bro got 2017. Oh, God. Two years, two years. He got two years, man. So, uh, you know, that's what it is. And baby, yeah, it's just how I live. Come get a dose of the most. Rocking with the knee. Turn the wheels, speakers in the grill. You can hear it coming down the block. That's how niggas feel. We can do this all summer, we can do this all summer